You're on. Hey guys, um, don't be shocked. This is my third time to go live tonight, but I am in the shop working and I um, like to share things that I think about while I'm working and they need to be said. <laughs> so with that being said, this is a painting issue. Um, Dixie Belle, okay, if you love gold as much as I do, I love gold paint. I have been uh, seeking the perfect gold paint for a very long time and for years and years and years, I used this tiny little bottle of liquid leaf paint that was amazing. It's opaque. I could I could cover whatever gaudiness I wanted, whatever area I wanted in super gaudy gold paint in one coat, um, but it's super fumy, super, super fumy, high VOCs. Um, after years of using it over and over and over without wearing a mask or any type of protective gear and doing a lot of detail work with tiny little brushes up close, holding the jar and dipping and painting squares and stripes real tiny, um, I developed, I started reacting to it. It makes my throat swell up, um, <coughs> it's hard to swallow. Uh, my throat stays swollen for a couple of days. I get a bad headache. Matt gets mad at me when I use it. Um, so it, it just, I started wearing a mask. I was using it and wearing a mask. Now I know that there are some fabulous gold waxes, gilding waxes, fabulous gold gilding waxes. A lot of people offer them. Dixie Bell has a brand new reformulated gold gilding wax. I love it, but you can't paint with a gilding wax. You can't. Dixie Bell also has metallic paint. They have their gold metallic paint. Um, I like it, but it's a little bit sheer and it requires multiple coats. It's just not quite gaudy enough for me. It's more of a subtle gold. If that's what you're after, that's great. But I like gaudy gold. So they came up with this gemstone mousse and it's by accident. And um, they were working on actually reformulating the waxes, I believe, when they came up with this. This The waxes are oil-based. They do have some VOCs. They do have a scent. And odor and you shouldn't be exposed to them for you know long periods of time I mean they have the OCs they're actually working on trying to make it where they can decrease that it's the Dixie Bell's really really big into carrying natural products that are not harmful which is one of the reasons I love them so much because I have um, a liver disease and autoimmune liver disease our liver is our is a, a, our major filter in our body for anything that is harmful to our bodies it's the very first place to sort of um, filter out what, what you should not be taking in, and um, I don't like to expose myself to things. So they came up with this. This is water-based. There are no VOCs. It is absolutely amazing, and it's getting a lot of crap right now online. So there are a lot of people who want to like it and are struggling with it. There are a lot of people who just are like over it and aren't going to use it, and then there are those like myself who love it, and I just want to explain some things. I just feel like we're lacking in some education. For one thing, um, education with the use of the stuff. So one thing, the package and the jar says to let, the package I think says let dry for 30 minutes. I think the jar says an hour. Um, that needs to be changed because it does take longer to dry. Now I'm not talking about curing, I'm talking about, uh, or not talking about drying, I'm talking about curing. Um, this paint, it is water-based and it's a mousse. Um, it's whipped in the jar, you can see that. It's like whipped, it looks just like mousse. It won't fall off of my brush. It's just like a, a mousse. It's like painting with yogurt, kind of. Um, I love that because it gives you control. Um, so what was I saying? I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, water-based. It is water-based. It's thick, but it's water-based. So if you put this on and then you do what we normally do, like come out the next morning and you're going to want to put your top coat all over your piece and you've got some areas that you've got gold, like if Matt wants to zoom in right down here, on these side rails that I'm working on, um, this is all gold mousse, every bit of this. This gorgeous, fabulous, gaudy sheen is this gold mousse. You can't do this with a wax. You can, but you've got to, you, it would take you forever. Wax doesn't spread this well. This gives you great, opaque, one coat coverage. It's like, it, I just painted it on. I'm going to do it for you right here in just a second on the other bed rail. But the thing is, is that's not cured. It might be dry to touch by tomorrow morning, but it's not going to be cured. And um, it doesn't require a top coat. It will cure on its own time, and you don't have to top coat it. But I have been top coating it. I just wait three, four days. Four days is about what's been working for me. About four days, it takes patience. It does. After four days, it is hard dry, I've been able to top coat right over it. Now, so I read today someone said, well, they waited seven days and it's still smeared when they top coated it. A couple things could go into play here. One is maybe they used too much and they had it piled up. So what I'm gonna recommend to you is, after you've painted your piece, hold on just a second, after you've painted your piece, 
and you've got your golden place and you've let that set for you know an hour or so go back with a dry brush over the area and just rub it just you're not going to mess it up just go in and rub it in just take off you know and then wipe it on a paper wipe it on a something paper Okay, I can see a little bit. This has been on your mat for what, about 30 minutes, maybe, if even, 20, 30 minutes? Probably not minutes. even that, yeah. Not even that. That's all I'm getting off. That's all I just got off. I'm just rubbing it like that. Now, the, does that mean I want to put a top coat over it? No, but I'm taking off a, you can barely see it on my brush. Cured it's dry. It really is dry in an hour, but it isn't cured. So if I put a water-based or any top coat on there, it's going to reactivate that and it is going to smear. And it'll smear over onto my drop cloth color, my, my white color. Um, I don't want that. So I'm going to wait a good four days and then I'll top coat it. Or you can wait four days and you cannot top coat it. And just be careful with it till it gives till it gets the typical 30-day cure time like all of our paint requires. Everything requires 30 days cure time. Really, seriously, even your top coats, okay? So I'm going to do this right here for you. But real quick, I want the, we're, we are prepared for our shipper to come. We have lots of furniture stacked up here for the shipper. So I'm going to walk back here and show you. This is the Cinderella bed that's being picked up this weekend. And this is a large amount of mousse. Super gaudy, large amount of mousse. This has been top coated. It is on here hardy, hardy, hardy. There's nothing coming off. It's been done for weeks. But it's good stuff, guys. You cannot paint this much with a gilding wax. The mousse is legit. It's better the paint, it gives you more control, it's more opaque, um, it doesn't run down into all the cracks and crevices, it's gonna only go where you put it, you just have to be patient with it, and you can't just go slapping top coat on, it just requires a little bit of education. All right, so here's my little jar, and here's my brush. Um, this is what it looks like. If it starts to get a little bit too thick, you could take your spray bottle, which, where is it? Um, you can take your spray bottle and you can just spray it in there. It's water-based. All you're doing is, is thinning it out just a little bit and it doesn't matter. I've done lives on this already where I've shown that you can make different, uh, you can have it super thick and opaque or you can thin it out and make it a little bit more sheer if you want to. So it just goes on like this, just like this, just like paint. Super, super easy to use. Turn my brush back, get right here on the edge. All around the edges like that. Now look, something else I want to show you. I got a little bit right there on my drop cloth, didn't I? If you do that with gilding wax, that's not going to come off. You have to be so super careful with gilding wax because it doesn't want to come off. This, I can lick my finger and just wipe that off, just like you do paint. It came right off. Just with my, I know that's kind of tacky just to lick my finger, but. Um, Corona. Yeah. <laughs> So that's that. Look how easy it is to use. Watch this right here. Watch me go along this whole line. Look at this. It's creamy. 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 Great coverage. One coat. I'm not going to have to go back and get, put another coat. Just cram it down in there. Let this sit up, set up for about an hour. Go back with your brush. Take off some of the excess. Let it, let it dry a few days. Just plan it out. Plan it out appropriately. It's worth it to me because it doesn't have those harmful VOCs. And I love the way it works. I can't do this with liquid leaf. Liquid leaf, you put it down, it's like running, and you're like, ah, oh, you're trying to catch it. I have total control of this stuff. I think there were some questions, so hang on. Oh, sorry. Back. I kind of forgot we were live. I kind of forgot. I, Matt's filming for me, so... Katie Rainwater says, Tracy, any water-based product has a potential to reactivate a water-based layer beneath it. The gold mousse isn't behaving differently than most water-based products. Exactly. Thank you, Katie. I think that you're agreeing with me, right? You're, you <clears throat> yes. are agreeing with me. Um, you just have to, you know, you have to be patient with it. Um, uh, the Dixie Bell paint in itself will reactivate uh, if you add, well, not the top coat really, but you put too much water on it's going to reactivate as well um i don't know i just love it i i, yeah. don't, I don't want him to really change anything about it but and that says she loves how far the jar goes the little jar oh my gosh all that bed the, the whole entire cinderella bed but the headboard and the footboard only two jars two of these little tiny jars two jars as a matter of fact this is the bottom 
of the second jar. I didn't even use two full jars on the headboard and footboard. Uh, Libby wants to know, can you moose over top coat? I am moosing over the top coat. <laughs> I'm doing that, so good question. Yes, I top coated uh, this bed. I top coated the drop cloth first because I knew that I, I, I'm i leaving town and I wanted this to have some cure time while I was gone and I wanna wrap up tonight and I don't wanna to have to come back you know, when I get back from out of town and come out here and top coat. So I went ahead and top coated the drop cloth so it can go ahead and start curing and let it dry. And now I'm out here missing over yeah. over the top coat. Patricia Snyder is using it tomorrow. Yay, I, I, uh, I love it. I used it. Since it's been out, I've used it on probably every every project that I've done so far. I I'm having it. to scroll backwards to answer questions so they're not in the order they were asked. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. So anyways, guys, I mean, look at it. It's fabulous. It's, it's gorgeous. It is as gorgeous. It is as uh, brilliant as the uh, wax. <clears throat> it is as brilliant as the gilding wax. But you can paint with it, and you can't that happened and then I went like that to get rid of it. Should you hit the X? I don't know. Well, I think we're live behind. Okay, it. hold on, hold on guys. Sorry, let's see. Yeah. X. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Good thing we didn't say a cuss word or something, right? I'm not you know, using a tripod. Because that doesn't happen. We don't we don't do that. Yeah. I was like what? Oh did I say something? No, you didn't, babe. You were good. You were good. Sorry, we had already, I'm going out of town and we packed some of my lights because I'm gonna actually do a live video while I'm gone. And so we don't have the best light in here. He was like, what, you wanna go live again? I was like, look, I'm out here, I just painted this bed roll. I'm in love with this stuff and people are giving it crap. And I just gotta, I just wanna stand up for my moose because I love it so much. So anyway, that's all, I won't keep you. I know we have much more pressing problems in the world than the people that don't like the Dixie Bell moose. Do you top coat over the moose? Uh, you don't have to. I haven't top coated over everyone, but I did top coat over the Cinderella bed that these rails belong to. Um, but you know what? I may not be top coating over the rails because I'm going out of town and these are gonna just mm -hmm. have a few days by themselves out here. Oh, I know what else I wanted to say. Yeah, babe. Uh, Kristen Rose wanted to know, uh, I wonder how good it would look on canvas. I haven't used it on canvas yet, which is funny because uh, I have used liquid leaf on canvas. So yeah, I haven't tried that yet. I don't know. I haven't done any tennis shoes or any denim um, with it yet. What else was I gonna say? Um, I don't remember. But look here, see this right here? I got a little bit on the mm -hmm. drop cloth. Can and you stencil with it? Sarah wants to know. Uh, yes, you can stencil with it, and you actually can do the new uh, the new silk screen stencils with it as well. But you do need to thin it out. You've got to you need to add water and thin it out to do the silk screen. Yes, you can. It stencils beautifully. Do you remember? Um, do y'all remember the cotton candy dust that I did recently? The cotton candy um, bubble gum yum. The girl that's blowing the bubble on the back side of it. That's also about to leave. Um, I did the drawer sides in like a garnet red, the sides of the drawers, a garnet red and gold, uh, what is that? Not herringbone, houndstooth, the houndstooth stencil. Huh. And, and, I, and I'm sorry, go ahead. I did it with, <clears throat> uh, the gold mousse. Go and ahead. it says it looks really pretty on her clothes. On my clothes? Is it on my clothes? No, on her clothes. Oh, on her clothes. Oh, good, when you're using it, you mean. Yeah. So you're like, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say it looks pretty good. It looks good on my clothes. Yeah, isn't it pretty? I love it. So that's it, guys, just be patient with it. Um, hopefully they'll change the packaging just so that the packaging has some better instructions so that, you know, if you're a retailer, you don't wanna have disgruntled customers, but you definitely need to do a little bit, a little bit of educating with it. But it's worth it. It's worth the learning curve, y'all. It is. It's healthy. It's not harmful. And it's beautiful. So that is my take on what's the color? Golden Gem Gemstone Moose. That's for all the. It's for all of them. It's for all the colors. All four. Any questions before we go? Nope. It comes in gold, silver, uh, a, a real pretty blue, and a garnet. No, gold, silver, copper, and a garnet red. Those are the four colors. We're done.
He's telling me to wrap it. Is that to wrap it up? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have a tripod. <laughs> okay, his arms are tired. All right, love you guys. Y'all have a good night. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.